Hello, this is Chuck Hardwick, and today I'm interviewing Dr. Ashley. How are you today, Dr. Ashley? I'm doing well, thank you, Chuck. Oh, good. Well, I'm trying to learn more about you and your clinic. So um, tell me, what was your background before you became a chiropractor? Well, before I was a chiropractor, I was basically just a full-time student um, going down the path to go into either pediatrics or become a physical therapist. And I just worked some side jobs uh, working in the serving industry and also working as a nursing assistant. Okay, so was there any defining moment when you decided you wanted to become a chiropractor or what made you take that particular turn in the path as it were? Yeah, so as I was working as a nursing assistant, um, if you don't know much about that position, I worked in a nursing home. It was a very physical job. We were turning patients, lifting patients. Typically those places are understaffed, so sometimes you're lifting patients that are too heavy for you when you should have two people lifting a patient. So by doing that job, I ended up with a work injury and I ended up getting considered bilateral hand numbness um, very frequently. It was worse at night and it started to affect my sleep. I couldn't sleep at all at night. I started having a lot of painful throbbing in my hands. So at that point, I started seeking out some care because I, could I couldn't work anymore at either of my jobs as a nursing assistant or serving because I couldn't hold a tray. Um, so then I sought out some care with uh, my medical doctor. And unfortunately, there was nothing he could have done to help me um, really have that many great recommendations. So he sent me to a sports medicine doctor. And at that point, they evaluated me, kind of taught me some stretches and things, but it still I was still having a lot of pain. I still couldn't work and I still couldn't sleep. Um, so I was just telling my friend about it. Um, she was coming to go see her chiropractor. And at that point, I didn't even know what chiropractic was. Um, but she told me to go see hers and I got evaluated. And she gave me a little bit more clear answers of what was going on from all the heavy lifting I was doing. I had compressed some nerves in my neck and shoulders. And those nerves were being um, pinched down on causing a lot of the pain into my hands. So after um, two sessions of chiropractic, I was uh, pain-free and I could sleep again at night and go back to work. Um, so it really got me back on the right path of um, being able to work and pain my way through school. And also got me very intrigued on, well, what, did, you know, what was all that? Uh, I'd like to learn more about that. I'd like to help people in that way. Oh, that's so interesting. Um, so tell me a little bit more about your clinic. What are some of the services that you offer there? Well, we try to treat everybody from, say, infants to geriatrics. We like to get people on the right track right away. So if uh, one of our patients brings in her baby, we, you know, see the baby, we treat babies with very light pressure, just maybe enough pressure in the pinky of your finger. Um, then, we, you know, we treat toddlers because they're always falling. Um, we treat um, teenagers that are starting to develop tech neck, um, pregnant moms with sciatica, and then, you know, the general working uh, community from being a, a computer too much to geriatrics. Um, I also have a special focus in treating fibromyalgia cases. Uh, so since we're treating such a broad spectrum of people, we have a lot of different techniques to help those people. So we do a, a lot of postural correction. So I really like to see that my adjustments make some drastic changes from one visit to the next, meaning I like to see if somebody's slumped over that after their session, they're standing up tall or can sit up tall. Um, we also do a lot of manual muscle therapies, which I think gives us really excellent results because not only are we adjusting the spine or the extremities, but we'll do muscle uh, therapies such as like hands-on massage to, we have, um, it's called a gua sha tool to, to scrape out inflammation on tendons. Um, so we really take a really good soft tissue approach as well. So they get the double benefit. And then we also do rehab exercises with our patients so that once we get them aligned and the muscles relaxed, scar tissue removed, they can get really strong in that area so they can hold their treatment, hold their alignment as long as possible. And then the other side of this is sometimes we'll treat people structurally, but they still have a lot of, say, pain. Um, so that, at that point, a lot of times we'll look at diet, um, lifestyle, 
Um, I run a lot of lab work on people. So I'll run blood, saliva, hair analysis. Uh, sometimes people have really high inflammation markers. Maybe they're lacking some um, critical nutrients that are um, causing pain. Maybe they have low calcium causing muscle spasms. Uh, so we like to look at it as a really holistic approach and put all that information together so that we can get uh, prime outcomes. Wow, it sounds like you have some amazing tools in your toolbox and can treat so many conditions. That's pretty cool. Um, so tell me, what are some of the challenges that um, you have overcome through starting this business and being a chiropractor? Sure. Um, I would say the first big challenge we had would have been uh, just when we decided to start a family. Um, being a female and having to step out of the practice to have our three kids um, were, were some challenging times, but we are really lucky to be a family practice, me and my husband's other chiropractor here. So when I was home taking care of those babies, he was here um, taking care of the practice. And then because it's us and I didn't have to hire a fill-in chiropractor, there's just great communication between, between us so that the patient's kind of feel like it's a seamless um, change and um, they still get the exact same care that they were expecting when I was out stepping out to take care of the kids. So, I mean, that was a challenge, but that's how we faced it. Um, and then I guess the most recent challenge that everybody's very aware of is the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and with that, we just, you know, turned to our local Washington State Chiropractic Association, CDC, started following their recommendations. We just really wanted to make sure that everybody coming in was safe, uh, felt safe. Um, we were disinfecting all the surfaces that a patient would touch. We were, we are wearing the N95 mask so that the patients also feel very safe. Um, so just taking a lot of safety precautions with that. Okay, well, good to know. And uh, tell me, what are you most proud of? I would say really the, um, holistic whole body approach that we've had here. I feel like we're really a one-stop shop for people. Um, I think it's um, something that's kind of lacking in medicine these days where people feel like they have to jump from specialist to specialist versus when people can, when people come here, they know that they can ask us questions about their nutrition or their supplements, um, maybe an herb they're taking, making sure they're on the right products. They know they can Kind of talked to us about a lot of different things. Um, so that comprehensive approach is what I'm most proud of. And I feel like that saved many people from not um, having to get on drugs um, or sustain being on drugs or have unnecessary surgeries. So that's what I'm most proud of. Fantastic. Just two more short questions. Um, do you have a website that someone watching this can check out? And also, what's the best phone number for someone to call to schedule an appointment? Sure. Yeah, our main chiropractic website is www.my2chiros.com. And our, we also have a fibromyalgia website that has a lot more information on the treatment we do for fibromyalgia. And that's fibromyalgiaseattle.com. And then if you want to make a call to learn more about our treatments or get a consultation, the number is 206-429-2922. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Ashley. It was really interesting and to learn more about you and your practice. Uh -huh. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful afternoon, Chuck. Thank you. Take care.